So if you have apple maggot traps in your orchard for monitoring the apple maggot through the season, one thing you need to do every so often is to clean the traps because they get covered with a lot of insects, non-target insects, and they just need to be cleaned off. So to clean the trap, you need three items. You need mineral spirits, a rag, and then a fresh supply of goo. So mineral spirits, you can buy at pretty much any hardware store or um, paint shop. You can either bring the whole jug out with you or what I usually do, I pour, because you only need a little bit each time, I pour some into a small bottle and just bring the small bottle out. And you need a rag. My favorite kind of rag is an old sock because one thing that's nice, you can just slip your hand oops, into the sock and then, then you can manipulate it easily. So you just pour some of the mineral spirits onto the rag. You grab the trap with one hand and then you just start wiping. And most of the gunk comes off. You're scraping off both the, all the insects as well as the old goo itself. So the, the trap will still be somewhat sticky, but it will still need to get a fresh coat of goo. Okay, that was not enough of the mineral spirits. I'm gonna have to give it another dose. The other thing you can do, I'm just leaving it in position um, with the uh, twist tie still on. Sometimes if it's easier, you can just untwist the twist tie and bring it down where you can work on it more thoroughly. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna need to go to a cleaner part of the sock and apply more of the mineral spirits. Okay, now we're getting there. See how nice and clear that bottom part is? So one question that comes up is how often do you have to do this? Well, it really varies. Uh, sometimes you can go several weeks and you really don't need to redo it. Especially when the weather is cooler, you don't do it quite as often. But then other times, even in a single week, if you have a big emergence of some insect, then you have to do it uh, more often. But one way to sort of prolong the time between cleanings is if each time when you're checking the traps, that's usually once a week, if you just with a twig scrape off some of the larger insects, then you have a longer time till you got to do a complete recleaning. Okay, so I think that it took some effort, but I think I got all the crud off. So then I put aside my sock, my rag, and here is my can of goo. It comes in a can with a brush that's mounted inside the lid. And this is called Tanglefoot. It's called insect trap coating. Or it used to be called Tangle. Yeah, it's uh, made by the company called Tanglefoot. So then what you have to do is load up a bunch of that stuff on your brush and then try and smoothly and thoroughly coat it all over the ball. The other form that the goo comes in is in a tube, sort of like a tube of toothpaste. And in that case, you don't have a brush, but you just keep pressing the tube as you sort of move the, the little nozzle around the trap and just gently squeeze as you move around. And it looks like we are just about there. It's a little thick in some spots, but we have adequate glue, goo, all around. Okay, so then when we check this next time, it should be very easy to see any apple maggot flies because it's nice and cleaned off of all those non-target insects. So whenever you've finished dealing with an apple maggot trap, chances are your hands are really sticky. 
and actually a few of our other if you're using other types of sticky traps so here are a few tips about how to destickify yourself if you happen to have your mineral spirits with you that you might have just used to clean off the apple maggot trap they can do a pretty good job on most of the gunk if you still have a clean spot left on your rag you can just try and wipe that off but if you don't have any mineral spirits with you there are a few other options so one is to get one of the commercial hand cleaners like fast orange or there are a few other brands here it does for these you need to have something like um, a dry paper towel handy so you just squeeze some of that stuff onto your hand and rub it all over the areas where there might be sticky gook and then wipe it off with the dry paper towel but if you don't happen to have hand the orange hand cleaner handy there are two other options one item that I usually carry around in my, with my trap supplies is a little jar of cornstarch where I just take an old spice jar that has uh, little holes in the lid and the idea is if you just sprinkle it on anything that's sticky like your hands and then rub it around that the, the dry cornstarch just binds up <laughs> um, the cornstarch binds up any sticky bits and then you're no longer sticky. And then you just wash that off later when you get back to a sink. The other option, if you don't have any of those things, you don't have cornstarch, there is Mother Nature's equivalent of cornstarch, is dry dirt, dry dust. So we can see that right here under this apple tree. It hasn't rained for a few days and we have some pretty dry dust. The idea is if you just scrape it up a little to get it in little particles you can just pat your hands in the dust and again it's like a bird taking a dust bath you just um, get that dry dust to bind up with any of the gooey stuff then you're good to go